Oh, happy Halloween. <laughs> I don't know if I taste plastic or disinfectant more. Happy Halloween. Hi everyone. Welcome to today's episode. Halloween is so important to my family for a couple reasons. Number one, it is my brother's birthday. Seriously, my brother's older than me and he does Halloween right. Secondly, I love candy, like a ton. So for this episode, we are trying Canadian Halloween candy versus American Halloween candy. Cause Robin thinks Canadian stuff is better. Yep. It's not. All I hear is South Park, blame Canada. Canada, Canada. Come along with me on this episode while I have an amazing cheat day filled with tons of candy. And I'll let you know what I think. So everybody always tells me, hey Katie, did you know that Canadian chocolate is just better than American chocolate? Let's find out. Everyone always says that American chocolate tastes waxy. It is a bit different. It's good, but I don't think this is a very good example because I love chocolate. So FYI, Hershey's are really good. All right, next. <laughs> this is a Canadian classic, like hockey, broom, sports. The ads for this were always like, how do you get the caramel into a caramel bar? How do we get the soft flowing caramel into the little milk chocolatey pockets of a caramel bar? <laughs> Well, that's a Cadbury secret. Were these an Easter treat? No, they're like anytime. You can get those in Halloween packages. We would not get these in the United States in a in a Halloween package. Not even like a small? No, it would never happen. Why? In the States, you get Kit Kat, Reese's, M&Ms. Why do, you, why do you guys all call it Reese's? What's that about? Cause it's... It, it's Reese's. No, it's Reese's. Reese's no. Pieces. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. This is like a Caramello in the States. Now that's just good. Better than a Caramello? Yes, because the chocolate's better. You're right. There may be more milk in Canada. This I've had before. This is one of my favorite candy bars. You can't find this in the United States. You might be able to go to like maybe a British deli or like an Italian deli and find these, but these are the best candy in Canada. During Battlestar Galactica, I ate these nonstop. We all know that it's the best candy too, but we don't understand why you guys haven't taken it. It's like- Cause we take everything from Canada? Take, no, we usually take everything from you guys, but you don't take all of our best stuff. No. Except for our hockey players. We do take all your Canadian hockey players. Nobody wants to play for Canadian hockey team until they retire. And then they're like, yeah, I play for Calgary. You guys, it's crunchy. Is it coffee-y though? Is it coffee-y? It's like a very subtle coffee flavor. No, that's not a coffee flavor. What flavor is it? It's like a vanilla wafer. You get no coffee out of that. None. Are, is there coffee in the ingredients? Have you ever checked this? No. Sugar, wheat, milk, palm oil. Yeah. Ugh, drives me nuts. Butter. There is coffee. It is the one, two, three, four, thirteenth ingredient. Does it say there's caffeine? They would not give children things with caffeine in it. No. No, there's no caffeine in this. So, verdict? I love coffee cake. It's one of my favorite candies in Canada. You guys, this is the best cheat day ever. Excuse me, I need to wash that down with a little soft in your lungs. What's next? What is this? A big turd. <laughs> take that again? No, it's a big turd. It says big Turk, which to me says big turd. What is this? Turkish delight. We don't have any of this shit in the United this States. Turkish delight is like very British or very European. It looks like a turd. So chocolate coating. Chocolate coating, it's a big turd. What's happening here? What's happening here? 
<laughs> what is it? What is this? My chocolate did not leave it. What is happening? You guys, that's not what I expected. Nobody bites into a chocolate bar thinking, oh, there's gonna be jelly in there. Not my favorite treat, but also not bad. It tastes like a fruit roll-up dipped in chocolate. Let me see, I haven't had one of these in ages. It's actually, it's more of an adult chocolate bar. I actually don't, I don't hate that. I absolutely hated these when I was a kid. Yeah. For the same reason. I, like, you bite into a thing, it's going to be And good, it's a turd. And then it's a jello, jelly turd. It's a jelly turd. But that's actually pretty good. It's got jelly in it. Got je Can you see it? You know? Yeah. No, not really. Turkish delight. I'm not, I'm actually, you know, I don't hate that. What is this? Bounty. You know what this looks like to me? So we have candy called Almond Joy's Got Nuts, Moundstone. Obviously, the Almond Joy has nuts and the mounds don't. Wait, was this an ad that pitted the two against each other? Yes, but they're both made by the same brand. Oh. So this is an Almond Joy. It tastes just like an Almond Joy. Wait, the Almond Joy is coconut? Mm hmm That's misleading. No, wait, so this is a mounds. This is a mounds. Because the Almond Joy's got nuts. Yeah. Mounds don't. So it tastes like exactly like a mounds bar. I'm not a fan of this kind of candy. I love coconut. I don't like it in my chocolate. <laughs> Who wants to be smart? She's a smarty. These are like my, f one of my, these are like my favorite Canadian. <laughs> I said the coffee crisp was. These are a thicker M&M. I do not know why the United States has not stolen these. These are amazing. These are literally, watch, that's how I eat them. Wait, that one didn't work. I'm gonna need another one. Okay. Whoa, 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 was that a red one? Yeah. Are you, are you gonna eat that red one right now? Yeah, why? It's a big thing about Smarties. When you eat your Smarties, do you eat the red ones last? But look at, you can see the chocolate or the candy coating is so thick. I mean, you should all try Smarties. But in the United States, we have a different candy called Smartie. These, which in the Uni in Canada they call rockets. Why? Nobody knows. But these are Smarties in the United States. Let me see. They taste the exact same. I wonder why they changed the name of them. Are these made in Canada? Yep, they are. What is this? What the fuck is a crispy crunch? Crispy crunch is Canada's answer. To a Butterfinger, my favorite candy of all time. Why? Perfect amount of crunch and peanut butter and chocolate. Butterfingers are amazing. They're the best candy. If you don't think so, I don't respect your freedom of speech. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is an American, this is a Butterfinger. Oh, oh, it's so, okay. Mm-hmm. You guys should freeze your Butterfingers. They're so good frozen. Mmm. This is the best candy. I taste the peanut butter. I taste the chocolate. I get that crunch. So now we're gonna try a crispy crunch, which is Canada's answer to a Butterfinger. Okay. Oh, it's in a convenient little paper sleeve. It's nice of you, Canada. It sort of looks already, from the looks of it, it's got more stuff on the outside of it. This is what a Butterfinger looks like on the inside, okay? This is what a Krispy Crunch looks on, like on the inside. See, they have a crispier shell on the outside of them. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like that. No, I'm not a fan. What are these? This is the best candy bar frozen. Amazing. This is a Butterfinger. Nope, it's a Baby Ruth. Named after Babe Ruth? Do we know? I don't. Mm. And this is American. This is American. So good. I mean, you got your nuts. We got nougat, we got chocolate, perfect ratio. I'm a happy girl. So this is Canada's answer to a baby Ruth. What is this? I don't even know what this is. It's too smooth. It 
This is magnificent. Peanut butter and caramel. I'm a fan. Eat more! The American way! That's Canadian. Oh, well, you guys are close enough. These are, this is a Canadian staple? Yeah. Oh, it, it looks like a granola bar. What is this? It's like some weird backwoods, squirrel eating, hippie loving Canadian shit. This does not look like a candy bar. 26 grams of sugar later. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Really? I don't like it at all. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it in my mouth. I don't. <laughs> moon pies! I've never had a moon pie. Oh, and a wagon wheel. This is the Canadian version. When I was a kid, the wagon wheel in your Halloween candy bag was like the best. Like the best thing that could happen thing to you? you? Yeah. It's like, you know, you get full size chocolate bars at some houses. Mine was a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Was. Yeah, like when you go to the house and it's like you get an entire candy bar. Yeah. The rich people. We didn't have any rich people in our neighborhood. We always got like the little things or like a homemade like popcorn ball, which I'm still a fan for a big popcorn ball. I do love them. You can't get that homemade stuff from people anymore. No, no. If somebody gave my kid a homemade candy ball, I would literally be like, what are you thinking? Oh, this is dumb. That's good. It's a little dry. Is that a wagon wheel to you? It's really dry. It's too much too much bread. Way too much bread. Oh, see now this is a more manageable treat. It's a manageable treat. America, Canada. And it's peanut free. All right. So I see what you mean. Okay. So much sugar. All right. I don't like either one of them. I mean, look, that's the difference. More bread, less bread. More marshmallow, less marshmallow. He's happy. Definitely better than the pie. He's definitely, ha he's really happy. It's not, it's not as good as I remember it being, but it's- See, I down. like it better. I like this better than that. Really? Mm -hmm. It's so dry, try that again. I, I just don't like it. You guys, I've had so much sugar. What's happening now? This is like the most Canadian cookie I could find. Are these the maple thingies that are like an Oreo, but like a Canadian version of an Oreo? <laughs> these are like the best thing in Canada. I dated a Canadian when I was in high school. And then she could not come back to Canada. Once she'd go Canadian, yeah. These are maple cookies. They're like an Oreo, but maple. It's so much sugar. Oh, it smells like smells maple like pan syrup. Pancake. Yeah. So much sugar though. Whoo! Made with pure maple syrup. Last one. Last one? It tastes like soap. Why would I want. They advertise it that way. Gum that tastes like soap. One or two pieces. I would do two. As you do with gum. You guys, it tastes like you just put your grandma's soap in your mouth. Why? Why would you ever do that? It's like a mouthful of potpourri. It literally tastes like soap. That is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. I can't get it out of my mouth. I can't get <clears throat> <laughs> He's gagging. I feel like I'm licking my grandmother's face. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Oh my God, you wouldn't have to put soap in your kid's mouth. You would just give him a piece of gum. How are you still chewing that? My eyes are crossed. I thought it might get better after a while. <laughs> it doesn't. I hate yeah. you for doing that to me. That was awful. You guys, my eyes are like crossed. I've had so much sugar. Top three. Number one. Number two. Number three. After sampling Coffee Crisp with all the other treats, I'm not a Coffee Crisp fan anymore. I realized there's better treats out there. Okay, I am gonna vomit. That was a lot of fun. I am also so full and need some water. 
So I hope that you had an amazing Halloween. I hope that it was safe and that you had a lot of fun and that it was spooky, spooky, spooky as ever. Remember to like and subscribe and leave your comments. Let me know what your favorite candy bar as a kid was and what your favorite candy bar now is. And yeah, I'm so, I've got such a sugar rush right now, you guys. I feel like I'm gonna die. This is what children feel like on Halloween. This is why you can't put them to bed. Ma